cool consequences of cavitation. Why tiny cavitation bubbles can be so catastrophic. Who has a question? I do, dude. Have you ever been to a party where... I don't go to parties. They're a waste of time. Well, I go to parties, man. And last night, this dude hit a bottle on the top and it broke on the bottom. I saw someone do that one time, too. I've seen videos of that trick. Can you explain how it works, sir? It's due to cavitation. Cavitation? What does cavitation have to do with breaking bottles? I'll share a short PowerPoint presentation about this. Vapor pressure of a pure substance is the pressure exerted by the vapor in phase equilibrium with its liquid at a given temperature. Vapor pressure is the favored term in fluid mechanics, but it's the same as saturation pressure, which is the favored term in thermodynamics. We all know that water boils at 100 degrees C at one atmosphere. That means PV is 101.3 kPa at 100 degrees C. But vapor pressure decreases as temperature decreases. At 20 degrees C, PV is only 2.34 kPa, so water will boil or condense at room temperature when the pressure is this low. So if the pressure drops below PV at any point in the flow, the water is likely to boil locally. We call this cavitation, and the bubbles that are formed are called cavitation bubbles. Here's an example of ship propeller cavitation. Cavitation is usually undesirable, as when these bubbles move into a region of higher pressure, they collapse rapidly. These collapsing bubbles generate vibrations and noise. Here's an example of cavitation in a pipe. You can both see the bubbles and hear them. These collapsing bubbles may reduce performance that can severely damage nearby surfaces. Here's a slow motion video of bubbles growing and then now they collapse very rapidly. This damage is called cavitation damage. We see it in pumps, in valves, and in turbines. Here's the party trick that was mentioned. If the bottle is filled with air, it doesn't break. If the bottle is filled with water, it doesn't break. But if the bottle's partially filled with water, it breaks. Here's some slow motion videography. You can see the cavitation bubbles form, collapse, and break the bottle. If you put an accelerometer on the bottle, you see that it doesn't break when the hammer strikes, but it does break with the cavitation collapse. Wow, I never knew cavitation was so powerful. That's awesome, dude. Uh, thank you, sir. Hey, I have a great idea, Professor Skeptic. You should throw a party for all your students, man. Yes, and you could demonstrate that bottle yeah. trick for us. Yeah, I have a better idea. Stop wasting time and study harder. Yeah, come to think of it, it's been years since I've been invited to a party. I wonder why. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.